Now I get to look into each room in maintenance in the other world. <laughs> Great. Too dark to see anything. of death broken heart is that Richard the father that's pretty cool I think the radios here are emitting the static it gets quieter when I switch scenes hmm never been here either Oh, cool. Maintenance room. This is where I need to go to crack the thing. I just need to be in the other world, but maybe there's a mirror in here. In this world. To a ghost. There's no pretending now, is there? We both know that thing at Cedar Grove isn't you. You died the day you tried to kill our son. When I brought your gift today, when you smashed it, I finally woke up. I've been dreaming all these years, kidding myself that you'll be right one day. The Helen I loved is dead. I try to remember how it was all those years ago today when we got married. I can't remember anymore. I'm tired. I know Travis will be fine on his own. I'm going to see you again, Helen. Yours in forever, Richard. Okay, no mirror in here, but it's probably a mirror pretty close. Uh, yeah, room 503. Vice grip time. I smash open the jeweled heart. There's something inside. Wedding ring. I think the ring has something engraved on its inside. To my June bride, love forever, Richard. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so this is f to try to help me solve that puzzle back at like the very beginning of this place where I need to enter a date. I guess this is a, a bit of a hint, June. But I need the day, the month, and the year. Maybe I have that in my other notes? I don't know. Aha! With the date set, a secret compartment opens in the calendar. There's an empty circular depression. Probably for the ring, I would think. Okay, so here's how I got that date, by the way, because I didn't actually know the date. Um, it was basically just, I had enough information to narrow it down to just a really limited set of possibilities. So we knew the month, right? June, my June bride. Now the year, I found I found what I thought was the year, which was the year, on my lucky quarter. When you examine it, it says it has something scratched into it. it. Looks like sixty-one. So I figured that was probably the year. So with the year set and the month set, you just have the days, and you know there's only thirty, thirty-one combinations of that. Let's put the ring in there. It's interesting that they require you to use the ring. Do you think that's to prevent people from... 
I mean, I guess you could, it'd be really hard to brute force. But if you brute forced it and got the solution, you would still have to progress in the game enough that you got the ring. And if you looked up a walkthrough or something like that, you would still have to get the ring first. Done with the calendar. Wait, sir, I, would, I didn't pay any attention to like what we got from that. Was it a key? That's the message that I missed. Something dropped down on the keyboard behind me. There it is, room 500 key, covered in blood. Oh, it's a save point. Couldn't see the redness amongst all the other redness. I think I should switch weapons. How much shotgun do I have left? Oh, 17 shotgun ammo. Hmm. Well, I'm sure the assault rifle, which I have 114 shots of, <laughs> and my 44 rifle rounds, uh, that'll probably be do more damage than the shotgun, I would think. Uh, I'll stay with the shotgun for now, though. I can switch at any time. I won the game. I still got a quarter left. You want the quarter? Daddy, wake up. Please, Daddy. I'm not sleeping, son. Daddy. You knew I wasn't sleeping. Why did you stand there for so long? It wasn't right. Please, Daddy. It wasn't healthy, son. Daddy. This is insane. Time you faced up to what happened. Your mother and I will see you in heaven, son. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, um, let's go to the Assault Rifle. Why does that sound like a laser gun? <laughs> I don't think it's the gun itself, I think it's what it sounds like every time the enemy gets hit. And done. Very hard. Truth. How is this even possible? Dad. How could he do that to himself? Why won't you let me forget? Why are you doing this to me? Come out! Come out! I've got your... Your thing for you. Happy? You've dug up my parents. What now? When do we get to look inside your sick little mind? This isn't right. Well, 
wonder where we go from here. Very pleasant music. Yeah, they gave me more ammo, so we're definitely, like, not about to walk out to a final cutscene. Something more is going to happen. I mean, we killed our mom, we killed our dad. Who's there left to kill? Our great-great-grandparents? Where am I? Oh, don't have a map for this area. Oh, wait, that's different. So normally, after you do the boss fight, and then you uh, wake up somewhere, normally you wake up in the same building, not the same area, but the same building where you've did the boss fight. This time we didn't. I don't know where the hell this is. Oh! We finally got the present piece. We got past future. And was there another one? I know. No, it's just present. Yeah, the present was the third one that I was waiting for, and we didn't get it until just now. This is the last one. Yeah. The three middle pieces. Oh. So it's a whole thing. Okay, I think this is going to do it. And if it does, by the way, this is not solved by my own ingenuity or anything. I'm sure I could have figured it out. I'm sure it's not that hard, but I just really did not care. So I looked up a walkthrough. I think when I rotate this once, it will do it. Well... Shit. Oh, do we want the same symbol on all sides? Is that what we're doing? Not sure why that wasn't correct, but given what I'm seeing, I think that was our goal. Looks like we got most of the way there. Oh, yeah. Just a thought I had. I wonder if this could be the moment that Alessa's soul was split into two. Was that Cheryl that we just saw? I don't think so, though, because they look exactly the same as they did before. They still look like Alessa. Cheryl didn't look like Alessa. Hmm. Probably not, then. Really gearing me up for something. Gurney's been used recently. It's stained with soot and blood. Oh, I think I know what this is, actually. Where we are. There's, like, some medical stuff, right? Still no map. I think this is the abandoned wing of the of uh, Alcamilla Hospital. Because that's where Alessa was kept for all those years, right? In secret. In, in cahoots between Dahlia and, and Goffman, the director of the Alcamilla Hospital. Wait, where do I go? I just came from there.
Is... Is there a door here I'm missing? Or am I not supposed to come in here? Oh, I guess that was just a dead end. Went back a little bit and here's a different door. Yeah, that was the basement. That's what she wanted, too. I want out. Can you help me? You want out? Ha <laughs> ha! Far too late for that. Even with your misguided help, she can't stop us now. The ceremony begins soon. Finally, she will birth God! Here she comes. Look upon what you have wrought! So am I going to have to fight Alessa? I mean, if I kill some incarnation of them, I'm not going to kill them. We know that. They're still alive for seven whole years. Got a shovel, got an ampule. I think we're good to go. Let's go with the assault rifle. I got the child's map. Oh, that's cool. Go here. Wait, if that's the child's map, then the child is trying to get me out of here, right? I mean, it's guiding me where to go. They're guiding me where to go, Alessa. Okay, well, I don't think I need my assault rifle just now then, probably. Let's reload this thing. Let's go with the rifle rifle, actually. I've got tons of ammo for that. Actually, I changed my mind. Shotgun. That is not a door. Let's take an energy drink. I don't want to stop running in this environment.
okay, we need to get up there, but I can't go this way. Maybe through over here on the right? Come on, drink another monster. Oh, wow. We're on the right we're on the right track. I thought I was still on the road next to it. Hey, what's up? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, this is the Green Lion Antique Shop. I just saw the sign for a sec as we went in. Oh yeah, I remember this place well. Is there going to be a hole in the wall we have to go through? Floros device, origin unknown. The device is first mentioned in the poetry of Cheng Qian, an advisor to members of the early Han dynasty. In one of his tracts, Cheng Qian jokes he trapped a demon inside his three-sided box. When Cheng Qian died in a terrible fire at an imperial palace, at the imperial palace in 115 BC, the device appeared lost. It was later rumored to be in possession of Lutheran monk M. G. Lewis, who in 1796 spoke of its ability to control and amplify thought. But it was Lewis who linked it not to a demon, but to God himself, claiming it was a weapon left by angels as a force for good. I always wondered what the Floros was. I actually like that that scene went on for so long.
Looks like some kind of altar. She's really worked you over, hasn't she? I'm surprised to see you. We had assumed you'd just leave. Well, time to put her pawn to sleep. Good night. Dahlia. With him out of the way, she has no conduit for her power. Mama? Mama? What is it? Don't touch. Oh, it's hot! Leave it be. It is a cage for a demon. Contained? His power will focus yours. Release him, and we will all burn in the fires of hell! Go with the assault rifle. Raining fireballs, okay.
I don't believe it. Harry, it's a baby. It's a girl. Go on. Hold her. Cheryl. We'll call her Cheryl. Half the soul is lost. The seed lies dormant. The other half is not lost. We'll use a summoning spell. Hearing her pain, it is sure to come. It will take time. We can wait. Let's finish up with some thoughts on Silent Hill Origins. I don't really feel like going too in-depth, so I think I'll keep this pretty brief. It's uh, it's quite a bit different from what Climax Studios went on to do in Shattered Memories. So uh, again, just a little refresher, this was the first Silent Hill game made outside of Konami. It was released in 2007. Shattered Memories came out two years later in 2009. So it looks like you know, being handed such a classic intellectual property by Konami. I think they wanted to play it really safe with this first game. And so they really followed the formula that Silent Hill set out very closely. The problem is that while trying to do everything pretty much the same way the original Silent Hills did them, it does them all a lot worse. The characters feel even less engaging to me than the original Silent Hill, which already had really just boring characterization and a story that was super silly. The enemies are generally pretty mediocre. I did really, really like those like marionette puppet enemies inside of the theater. I thought those were super good, but other than that, just pretty meh. And again, going back to the thing of really trying to stick to the formula, they also basically just copy and pasted Pyramid Head. The boss fights were incredibly underwhelming, super quick, and extremely easy. I didn't like the music nearly as much, although looking at the credits, I'm pretty sure that the original composer for the original Silent Hills did the music for this one as well. I think? So that's a little bit surprising. I mean, I guess it has nothing to do with talent in this case, just uh, more of a, a direction thing. They obviously took the music in a very different direction from the previous ones, and I didn't like it as much. I will say a couple good things. There were some really good soundscapes, especially in the other world, especially early on. I don't feel like the soundscapes were that great later on. Nothing particularly comes to mind, but I remember early on in Alcamilla Hospital, some of those places sounded and, and also looked amazing. They had a, a wonderful sense of creepy place. But overall, it's just pretty bland. Like, it didn't offer me much friction. Like I said, the boss fights were super easy. I didn't really get lost, generally. So this is one of the most frictionless Silent Hill games, actually. Meaning that even though it was mediocre, it wasn't really unpleasant to play. And it's interesting to compare it to what Climax Studios did two years later with Shattered Memories. I guess after getting the confidence from making this game, they chose to do something really daring and, and make a Silent Hill game that is completely different from every other Silent Hill game that had come before. I talked about this at the end of my Shattered Memories playthrough, so I won't rehash all of it, but just the big picture. They changed basically everything about Silent Hill. There's no combat, only chase sequences. There's basically not really any puzzling. There's like very, very, very light puzzling. There is no other world. There's no boss fights. It really barely resembles Silent Hill at all. I think the only things that are the same is the name of the town. Silent Hill, and some of the character names like Harry and Cheryl. And while Shattered Memories also wasn't a very good game, I think I almost like it more. Not so much that I enjoyed playing it more, but just uh, it's more interesting of a thing to, to look at and to play just because it's so different, whereas this one is just so mediocre and more of the same. Alright, well I think I'll leave it there. So that has been my playthrough of Silent Hill Origins. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.